Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm and I am back to talk to you about the 2GIG GC2E and its programming of the smkt 8 E-345. This is the encrypted US version smoke detector. I know this does also enroll as a heat and a freeze detection device. I will be showing you how to do that in separate videos. This is a video strictly for programming it as a smoke detector. Now the first thing you want to take into account is this is an E-series device. The equipment code will start with the number 2. In this case it is 2058 for the equipment code and the loop number will be loop 1 for the smoke detector. So we'll go ahead and we'll start getting this thing learned in. Hit security. Once you've hit security, go ahead and hit menu. Once you get your new options up, you want to press toolbox. And then it's going to ask you or prompt you for your installer code. In my case, it is 1561, which is the factory installer code for the GC2E. Now we're going to hit the right arrow twice when we see the new options. We want to go into installer toolbox, then system configuration. Now it'll say Q1, it's wanting you to select which zone you want to program into. I don't have anything programmed in here, this is a fresh panel, so if you wanted to go to a different zone, you just press the right or left arrows and you can cycle through whichever zones you'd like. Uh, I'm going to leave it on zone 1 here. Press the down arrow. Once you press the down arrow, it's going to want to know the sensor type. In this case it is a 09, which is a 24 hour fire, so you can either enter 09 or press the right and left arrows and it'll eventually get you to that. Hit the down arrow. It's going to ask for the equipment code. Now the equipment code for the US version smoke, heat and freeze detector will be 2058. Once again that is 2058 for the E-series equipment code for the US version of the smoke, heat and freeze detector. Once you have that equipment code, press the down arrow. Now it's going to ask you to learn your sensor in. It wants you to actually enter the TXID. I don't advise you do it like that. I advise that you learn it in so that you recognize and your panel recognizes it and you can see that it, it's playing nice with one another. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit shift and then we're gonna hit learn. Now mine doesn't have the battery tags in it so I'm not, I'm not really gonna be worried about popping those. My batteries are already active inside so all I have to do is tamper this device at this point. Once I pop the cover, it learns in. Now you wanna verify that your TXID is the correct TXID. 0319937 is my TXID. So once you've verified that, you go ahead and you put your cover back on and then you close it. Now, we're gonna put this to the side. You're gonna hit OK. You're gonna hit the down arrow at this point. It's gonna ask you what the equipment age is. This is a brand new smoke detector for me. Press the down arrow after you've selected the equipment age. It could be existing or brand new once again. Then you'll see select RF sensor one loop number or sensor whatever number you're working on loop number. As I said, this is a smoke detector only at this point, so I am only putting it as a loop one. The other uh, devices I will show you how to enroll in separate videos. This is a loop one, hit the down arrow. It's gonna ask you to select the voice descriptor. I'm just gonna call it a smoke detector. So you should see a board pop up on the screen when you hit insert in the bottom left hand corner. Then you use your left and right arrows to scroll to whatever you want the descriptor to be. There are a bunch of them, so it may take you a few to get to it. Mine, I just made smoke, so as soon as I, I made it that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the down arrow. And then it wants to know if it's gonna be a reporting device. This device is gonna report to Central Station, and I want it to do so. Now, if you want it to be a local device only reporting to you or to your panel, you would just push the right arrow, and then it would be a local only device. So simply reporting to the panel only and not transmitting a signal to Central. I do want it to do that, however, so I'm going to leave it enabled and then I'm going to press the down arrow. Now, it wants to know if this device is supervised, meaning that it's checking in with the panel to let it know it's, uh, it's, it's all right. You know, it's got a, a, a good battery, um, it's not falling out of RF supervision, it's not being interfered with. Um, I'm going to leave that because I do want that to happen, so press the down arrow. Now it wants to know if you want to chime this. This is a smoke detector, so these devices typically don't chime. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip that, press the down arrow. You'll get your uh, summary of RF sensor number, whatever you just did. Uh, mine is sensor one. So you could go back and edit current here. You could click edit next, which will take you to the next zone. You can start adding the next device. Or you can hit skip. Skip is just going to take you back to the main screen here for programming. That's what I want to do. Once I've hit skip, I want to hit, hit end. Now, at this point, you'll see a new list of options and things pop up, specifically back, save changes, and exit. You can hit back to go back to what you were doing in programming. 
you can hit exit to go ahead and exit out. Now before you do that, you wanna make sure that you've made the choice whether or not you wanna save the changes. I do wanna save the changes, so I'm gonna leave that box checked. If I did not wanna save the changes, I would just simply uncheck the box and then exit. I'm gonna save them, so I check it, and then I hit exit. Now at this point, it should go into a reboot procedure. That's perfectly normal. It's gonna go ahead and cycle, and then once it comes back up here, and the screen obviously comes back, I should be able to tamper this device and you'll see it appear on the screen as smoke. So let's give it a minute here. All right, now we'll tamper this device. See, so we got smoke tamper now. So it is monitoring that for supervision. I put the cover back on and it goes away. Now you probably want to hold the button down in the middle here to actually test it. This thing actually presses down and it'll transmit a signal. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to blow your ears out. Uh, but uh, make sure you do that. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.